Since October last year, sanctions imposed by the US, UK and EU have targeted dozens of Russian oil tankers. The impact has been significant. Over half or 53 of the sanctioned vessels currently sit idle. This translates to a major drop in cargo for these tankers, severely disrupting Russia's ability to move its oil through traditional routes. The sanctions targeted not just individual ships, but also the Shadow Fleet, a group of tankers known for circumventing sanctions for operating by operating outside Western oversight. The UK specifically sanctioned four vessels suspected of belonging to this shadow fleet in June. The effectiveness of these sanctions varies by location in the Black Sea. Four sanctioned tankers vanished from automated tracking systems upon entering the region. They likely remain there due to the requirement to activate tracking when passing through Turkish Straits. However, in the Baltic Sea, six sanctioned tankers have gathered near Russia's major export terminals, highlighting the struggle to find alternative routes. The impact of sanctions on Russian oil tankers extends beyond regional clusters. We see sanctioned ships scattered across the globe. Eight vessels are currently gathered near the Suez Canal, a crucial passage for oil transportation. Interestingly, most of these are managed by a single company. Henessa Holdings, which was sanctioned by the US in January. China has emerged as a lifeline for some sanctioned tankers. Five are either currently at or recently left Chinese repair yards. Similarly, similarly, four sanctioned ships are idling near the coast of South Korea, with one having remained there since its January sanctioning. Despite these scattered locations, the vast majority of sanctioned tankers remain inactive. This suggests that while Russia might be exploring alternative routes and maintenance options, it faces significant challenges in moving sanctioned oil through established channels.